So I was diving through the awards website and um, uh, on the conference page I saw this image hover effect. I find it really simple and interesting and thought that why not showing you how to make it with uh, plain HTML and CSS. So let's go into it. Inspecting the elements, we can see that the effect is done through with the help of the pseudo elements after, and um, it's placed with position absolute on top of the image, and through the on, on its hover. Like if we say that this article is hover, we can see that the opacity is set to to, to, to to one yeah so it has like a very smooth transition and the background or actually the 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 layout that is doing this effect um, uses a linear gradient so now the entire image will be um, covered in this uh, pink uh, pinky color so I've got here a simple HTML um, document, um, and I will link them. I link the GIST, GitHub GIST in the description. So I, I have the the this container. Uh, use I will will use it to place um, my images or all of the images um, in the center, and then we have this Greek container, and each element is. Um, has or each uh, item has a grid container element class to them and our four images of course i have my css file and i linked uh, the css file into the head of this html basically the uh, dom for this example um, well what we have to do is to add the css for for uh, the project so we will start with uh, placing our um, images in the center of the uh, viewport um, and there's a, a, a nice way to, to center the items nowadays. Uh, let's target the placement container and that um, is through using the display grid and it needs to be the width and the full height of the uh, DOM and then we will use the place items and center them into to the, the element so you can't see now uh, you can see for now but we can see that the, the uh, CSS is applied let's go and uh, add some uh, style to the grid container um, so again, it's gonna be a display grid. We want it to use the grid, and uh, thanks to Copilot, it gives me suggestions. So we will place them in three columns, in two columns actually, and we say that uh, we want some room. Um, on the side so width is 90% and some space in between let me refresh here yeah we see that the style is applied and now let's go and target the uh, image or the grid element itself so um, or the image in the grid element grid container element image we will not add a class for the purpose of this uh, example so let's make the width uh, and the height to be 100 and since we want them to be more square I believe so aspect ratio one by one yeah and I believe here we want 2% gap. Yes, no, it's much better. Yep, so 
we are here with our um, grid let's add a few more tweaks to the grid container element let me move it here so uh, we wanted to have a cursor pointer for the purpose of this video uh, let's add a border radius of 10 pixels and let's make the overflow hidden uh, yeah because the border yep so we we have added here some nice rounded corners um, so as I told you uh, they're using the pseudo element before or after actually to to add let me yeah here if we go to the figure we they're using the after element we can use the before element uh, they added another gradient uh, gray gradient here so if we yeah, you see to make the uh, background blacker here so the text could be visible what is the purpose of the this um, uh, pseudo element is to if you want to create some kind of um, decorative effect on top of some of some element and you don't want it to add um, to add another um, element in the DOM tree so they are perfect example to for these hover effects when you have the the uh, image for example and then you add um, a con on a element on top of the image and animate it through CSS or so through on on uh, on hover on or or anyway. So let's go and target the um, grid element grid container element before let me scroll here a little bit let's go back and since we don't want it to have any kind of content we want we'll set it to empty and as I told you, it's going to be on top of the image, so we have to put it with position absolute. Top zero, come on, left zero, with 100, okay, height 100, and let's make it the background red for now. And don't forget it to set the position relative to the container, so it won't go beyond this container. Yep, so we see the uh, background added. Now we're gonna have to, instead of the background, we'll have to use a linear gradient. And um, the first, yeah, so it, it's already suggested me something. So the first um, parameter is gonna be um, the, um, uh, the direction. It, it, it can take multiple um, units. I will use it for better understanding the to to bottom. But you can use the degrees here as well. So the first one is the direction and then the color from top to bottom. So we want uh, almost a black color. So 245, 147, 173 zero and we want it to start as zero opacity and for the bottom color we want it an rgba uh, 255 oh actually that's the position zero is the opacity um, yep so we want it to have a 0 0.6 let me save opacity five 1.73 and let's refresh yep so we see this nice um pinky yeah effect on top of the image what we have left is to add the transition so let us set it to transition we know that we're gonna animate the opacity 0 0.3 second 
and I'll just I just copy pasted the timing function from um, a word website, but you can use whatever you want. And let us set the initial opacity to zero. And when we hover the element, we set the opacity back to one. So let us refresh. And if we hover the image, we can see how easy and great the, the, the effect feels and looks um, when you have beautiful images. So guys, hope you liked this small tutorial on how to create this um, image effect using not a fencing framework, just going back to origin with plain HTML and CSS. I'll link down below the gist or gist um, to the GitHub to this small project. And then let me uh, know in the down in the comments what do you think about this uh, new um, type of tutorials. See you. Bye.